Okay, uh, what the deal is, is we got Dylan, the new guy here, Mr. Race Car Driver, and uh, we need to paint this tank black. We got a couple little do small dents in it. The guy brought it over. So we're going to run you through the procedure of how to paint your tank at home all by yourself. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. What we're going to do is we got this used motorcycle tank that this guy bought. Here we go right here. This is it. Uh, it's a Ducati. If you look at it, the finish on it, it sucks, okay? It's a pile of shit and looks like crap. We got a sensor right here. We need to take that off, Dylan. Get some two-inch tape. Let's get that done, bud. This is aircraft stripper that we're using. It's very dangerous. Do you know why it's dangerous? It will strip off paint or surgery. No, it will get in your eyes. And it will blind you. It will get on your skin. And it will hurt you, okay? That's good enough. Don't take it too hard. Look at the can starting to expand, bud. The first thing that you do is you go ahead and tape everything off that you don't want stripper on. All right? That's very important. The stripper will not stick to the masking tape. And you also go ahead and we don't want any stripper inside the tank. So we went ahead and taped off the opening where the gas cap goes. Okay? Now, we're not going to strip the inside here. We'll go ahead and sand that because that's underneath and we can't see it. But we are going to strip the outside. The stripper itself, like I said, you have to be very, very careful with it. If you can move the tank over here, please. All right? So when you open your stripper up, the first thing you want to do, you want to open it up very slowly. If you listen close, you can hear. Did you hear that? Did you hear the gases releasing? And keep your face away from it because you don't want to smell. Right. Okay. We're going to go ahead and pour that in a bucket. We're not going to pour a lot in. We're going to pour probably half. Then you're going to go ahead and take your brush. See the brush I have? This is a throwaway two inch brush. All right. Look at the way that stripper's acting, dude. Do you see that? Yeah. If you look down inside here, you can see the stripper starting to bubble. So that means that it's already acting, reacting, and it's already working. You don't have your safety glasses on, sir. Thank you. Okay, this is very important. When you apply stripper, you don't want to apply it back and forth, back and forth. The more that you move that stripper around, the less activated it is, bud. So we're just going to go like this, see? See how I'm just doing a one-stroke deal? Right. Okay, that's right. how you apply it. If you watch close, you can see it bubbling up and starting to eat the paint. You don't want to keep going back over it. You want to do a one-stroke deal. That's very important when you're applying stripper, bud. Make sure you get every, every crack and groove. Right. If you look real close, you can see it eating the paint, the paint away. So basically, this is going to be an easy strip. Alright? Now, if you can go ahead and apply the rest of that for me, I'd appreciate that. Alright? Alright. There you go. Put it on very thick. Thick and juicy, bud. You got it. Okay, Dylan is applying the aircraft stripper to the motorcycle tank, and if you watch very closely, if he doesn't uh, splash my camera, you can see that the stripper is activating as soon as it hits. Go ahead and put some more right here where it's dry. You want to keep that real wet. Put it on thick, dude. There you go. As we come over here where I applied it, you can already tell just by the look of it right here that... Uh, we're going down to bare metal very easy with this because this all this was is uh, some cheesy ass primer and spray paint that they applied to it. I would like to uh, go ahead and remind everybody this is aircraft brand paint remover. Uh, this is highly dangerous. It's very dangerous. Even though it says non-flammable, if you look right here, okay, it says danger poison. All right. If you read all the side labels of it and the back. You can see that the whole can is a warning label. So be very, very careful and precautious when using this.
if you want to do a proper job, if you want to do a professional job, and if you want to save money, this is the way to do it. You want to go ahead and use aircraft stripper instead of trying to sand that off because if you sand it off, if you look right here where we tested our sandpaper, you see that it really didn't sand off and uh, we were wasting our sandpaper. Okay. The next thing we want to do, we want to get this out of our way so it doesn't splash all over its bugs. Okay. And then we want to take our steel wool. All right. Now the reason the water's there is because if your hands start getting hot, go ahead and dip your hands in there and wash them off. But so what we want to do is hold the tank just like this. Now look what I'm doing. See there? Yeah. It's coming right off. Bud. All right. I see that this is going to take two coats of two to three coats of stripper, but now you got your gloves on, so you'll be able to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's get all that paint off, or you can take the scraper if you want. Maybe I'll do the first coat yeah. with a scraper. Yeah. Okay. Look here. Scrape it on. Off. Use a scraper like this, and then once you get it off, look how I'm using that scraper. See? Right. And then once we get it off, we'll put another coat on. And, uh, all right. So basically, uh, to start out by painting your motorcycle, it's really not that uh, big of a situation. What you need to do is strip all the old paint off if the paint is that rough, okay? Uh, what Dylan's doing, he's using his scraper blade on it to start out with, and then the second coat will come back with the steel wool and remove the remainder of the old paint with the steel wool on the second coat of stripper after it is applied. How's it working, dude? How's it going? Going good. Coming off? Yep. All right. That's a nasty bastard, dude. That looks like it's got some surface rust on it. Yeah. It's it's really that nice. surface rust or... pretty rough, but... Yeah. but we'll make it work, don't worry. Let's get all that paint off and then we'll put another coat on and then we'll use our steel wool, all right? All right. So the stripper process of removing the paint is possibly and more likely the most dangerous part of uh, refinishing your motorcycle tank. Be very careful with the aircraft stripper, be very careful with any type of stripper. Anything that, uh, that has uh, the chemicals that the stripper has in it, you need to be very careful because it will burn your skin and always wear your safety equipment to protect you as much as you can. We'll be back. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.